The first step in this process is to download Python 3 on your Linux distro. I have already done this, but the command for this is sudo apt install python 3-y. This will only take a short time to download and install. Python is the main language used for this application, Evil Limiter. Now we need to clone the repository of Evil Limiter onto our Linux device, which you can do by typing in the following git clone command. It will be downloaded to the desktop folder in this case. Check this by running the ls command. It is time to now run the setup.py file for installing Evil Limiter by using the sudo python3 setup.py install command. As you can see after a short while, we are good to go. We can now begin using Evil Limiter for blocking and limiting purposes. The first thing you must do is to use cd to navigate to the directory of Evil Limiter. Then you just type Evil Limiter at the prompt and it will start. As it is a security application, you can see here you must begin this as a root user. So you will have to type sudo su to become a root user. You are now presented with the menu, which tells you a little detail about your network and which interface you are using. Type help to see the options you have available to you here, so in this video, we are going to be focusing on scanning, blocking and limiting users. Before we can block or limit, we must gain an idea of the devices on the network, running a scan. We use the scan minus minus range followed by the IP address and subnet mask of the network. Follow that, using the host's command and you will see a full list of online devices. One of those devices is my phone, which we will shortly block and limit. Blocking with Evil Limiter is very easy, all we have to do is find the ID number on the left and run the block command, followed by the ID number. My phone, shown on the right, is blocked now. The wireless is connected, but we cannot access the internet for anything. To bring the device back onto the network, we just have to issue the free command, followed by the same ID number used previously. As soon as the free command is issued, the wireless is activated on the phone as shown on the right. Lastly, rather than blocking, you can just rate limit the user to a certain number of kilobytes so that the wireless is still on, but it just says poor service. In this example, we are going to limit them to 50 kilobytes per second that will ruin their day and they will go and do something useful instead. As you can see, the phone on the right shows the spinning wheel of death, enough to make anyone walk away. This is better, as they might just think they have a weak connection, rather than being blocked. One very important point, you must disable IPv6 on the router, as this only works with IPv4. This is easy to do on most home routers. I am just showing you where it is on my router, but all vendors will be slightly different. I have already disabled IPv6 on this router and Evil Limiter works perfectly. Thanks to the G-Man channel for an easy to follow security video on Evil Limiter. Like, share and subscribe and we will see you again soon.